this Panda Buy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the cost for your shipping according to the amount of weight. So first, let's say you want to um, ship out something. Uh, so right now in my warehouse, I have an item that weighs 1,129. Let's see the estimation. So you go in the top right, even when you come home, you see this, the estimation in the corner. And I'm in Canada. So you would put in the weight right here. You could put in the length, the width, and the height, but that doesn't matter as much. If uh, it fits in the dimensions, it doesn't matter much. 1,000. That's the weight of the Jordan 1s. You can see this is how much it would cost. Canada P, PD Line, UPS. Canada PD Line B, UPS, EMS, Sal. I would say the best shipment from here, if you're in Canada, would probably be either a Canada PD line or a Canada PD line B. And you can also get insurance for your package. Let's say it gets lost or it gets stuck in customs, you could, you could get insurance. Let's do more weight. Let's see about 10 kg. This would be 10 kg. According to the weight, let's say if you ship uh, more than two shoes uh, in your package, some of these options won't be available to you. It also, also matters uh, how big the items are. That's 20 kg right there. You see the shipping for 20 kg is way more and this is in USD. That's how, how much you find how you find the cost for your shipping. You input the weight in grams here. So let's say if it's 7.8 kilograms, you will put 7,800 grams. This is the cost you would get. Thanks for I forgot to mention. If you're shipping out like items with that have batteries, let's say a watch or a toy that runs on battery the cost of shipping is going to be way higher also there are going to be some lines that won't be available to you i know sal won't be available to you i think uh the only lines would probably be ups so if you're make make sure you're not shipping something that has batteries in it 